At the U School, Monday through Friday, every morning, working alongside the U School classroom teachers, we have what we call our special teachers. So on Monday morning, we have a Capoeira teacher, Fabio. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have our art studio teacher, Lauren. On Wednesday morning, we have our music teacher, Tim. And on Friday mornings, we have a yoga teacher, Natalie. Then these are these other languages that we have as the specials. Hello, my name is Fabio, but in a capoeira, my nickname is Lobinho. This means little wolf. I, I, I doctor. I, I, I doctor. Yeah, it's gonna be a doctor, Kai Matu. I, I, I doctor. Everybody clap your hands. I, I, I doctor. I doctor, I doctor. Show me a capoeira. Pa, 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 now with your hands you're gonna do. Pa. Capoeira is an Afro-Brazilian martial art. My goal with Capoeira here is make the kids learn how to use his body, have fun, respect each other, and work like a teamwork. You're gonna do a backward somersault. I can't. Before we say can't, everybody's gonna say I can't. This is how you guys have to save every day. If we focus in our kids, the future is going to be better. This is what I believe. I am Natalie Berry. I am a yoga teacher at the youth school and an artist. Breaking it down to obviously very simple techniques. So we slowly learn and build our repertoire of poses and then they get to kind of understand which poses feel good for them, what don't, what are really fun and, and easily tie into a story. The story helps keep us engaged. At the beginning of the year, I was telling the stories, and by now, um, we're well versed in all the poses, so the kids really are excited to kind of take over the story. Yeah, it's, it's the story elements, it's the games, it's making it really fun and fast, and also take moments to slow down. You can make a lot of beats. Uh, I'm gonna add some water. Mm, that was an open it used to be. Uh, everyone sing that. Uh, it's higher, right? Yeah. Uh, my name's Teacher Tim. I'm a saxophone player and music teacher. We've been working a lot on listening. We've been talking about sound and just why sounds happen and what affects sound. I play a lot of different instruments and I've brought every instrument that I own. A lot of the instruments come in different cases and they see the case and the different shapes of the cases and they're like, ooh, what's that? What's that? They get really excited. Well, one of the games that we play is called Conductor. 
Okay, Arthur, can you stand a little bit back because you're waving that thing really close to, thank you, that's perfect. I'm ready, are you guys ready? All right, follow really closely. One at a time stands in front of the rest of the group. The kids pick different instruments to play, most of percussion instruments, but a lot of different sounds. And it's been fun watching them sort of figure out different volumes and different ways of playing the instruments. Music really like gets the creative process moving in their heads. You see it happen and it's really fun. It's really fun to watch them experiment with sound. My name is Lauren Roy and I am the youth school art teacher. What I like about the studio is it's a safe place that if you don't want to talk, your thinking can still be heard. We always start out with drawing and children are able to share their plan. They're sharing their own excitement, they're sharing their hypotheses, they're sharing some possible misconceptions, then we can take that knowledge and we can talk about it. So it's like a vulnerable, safe place to share your true understanding. really done a lot of clay and painting primarily in the studio and it's just great to see that perspective and that confidence just kind of flow. I like how you're thinking about the color of your white first. There is no color in the world like the one that was just mixed. Would you like to be an inventor today? An event? Yes. The outcome is not the goal so you have to give them that space to learn and let that just be. And then when children are ready, then I can come in and say, oh, well, let's try this technique. And then that really helps bring what they're thinking to a whole new level so that what they're authentically thinking is heard.